Hey guys, we're making cheap man, po man, fo, fo, fe, fo. However you say it, we're making PHO. Alright, you guys, you saw the picture. Yeah, I forgot to film how we did it, but this is what we did we had the boneless pork ribs. We throw those in a skillet, screaming hot skillet. Cook them about 70% of the way through. With that, you throw in your onions and you get those uh, nice and translucent. During that process, kitty cat over here is chopping up a bunch of cilantro, some uh, green onions, some jalapeno. Um, what else did she chop up there? Uh, oh, what was that fancy onion? A shallot. A shallot. A chalet, if you will. And then, we get a bath of water going, and in that we put in some, and we have no measurements. We just do it, and every time it's a little bit different, but we just keep it going until it's good. We put in there, first off, we start with rice wine vinegar. We throw in salt, pepper, of course, add a little bit more later on for taste. We throw in some uh, diced uh, garlic, some soy sauce. We put uh, sesame seed oil, uh, fish, fish oil, no fish, fish juice, fish sauce. Fish sauce. We put in a little hoisin sauce this time. Something we never did before. Um, random different stuff. Uh, what else did we put in there? Some the packets from your top ramen. Uh, we put that in there, um, and then once that is all melted together, we start tasting it, we add a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that, you get it to where it tastes good to you, and that's the cool thing about pho, buffet, whatever you want to count it. Then in another pan, I know she's going to call me out on it, it's what we're supposed to do, we didn't do it this time, make your noodles in a separate pan. Yeah. But put your uh, onions and your 70 to 80% done pork in your broth. Let that continue to uh, all meld together. And then cook your noodles. Put your noodles in a bowl. Throw in your broth with some meat and you know all that stuff. And then on top of that, you put in your cilantro, your onions. Um, we did cook in a little bit of uh, uh, jalapeno. Uh, and that sesame oil, this time, we actually got one because it was cheaper, it was a spicy sesame oil. First time we tried it, and it's actually pretty good. My mouth is watering like some bitch, because I haven't even had a bite yet. Uh, and a slice of lemon. Put all that in here together. Mm. Good. Mm. Yum, yum. I'll tell you what. For us, the cilantro is a big deal. That really makes a difference on, on pho. Um, your, your pork is freaking awesome done this way. Comes out nice and tender. I know you'd think at the end boiling it off, it'd get tough and chewy, it doesn't. Um, we put some sesame seeds over the top. I know this is a cheesy ass video, but it's one of those dinners that it's just, there's no recipe. We just slap it together. It's one of those things that we do together. She gets in there, does a chop, and I do a little bit of the frying. And then as we're cooking, we're tasting together and coming up with ideas. So y'all get out there and just try this shit. Cheap, easy, and oh so good. Right, bye bye. I went over there, she went, mm-hmm. That's her romantic side coming out. Her, 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 uh, evanescence, evanescence, evanescence of culinary experience. In other words, as long as she's shoving that food in her face and she's not yelling at me, I'm figuring, I must have done all right. Rob a light, you can keep me around. I'll take it easy. Give it a shot. It's fun. And it's good.